We are kicking off Back to School Week oh. with a New York Times best-selling author here with some fun and easy lunch ideas. Even for the pickiest of kids is the author of Dictator Lunches and my doppelganger from 15 years ago, <laughs> Jenny Mullen. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome back to the show. Thank you for having me. The book me. is called Dictator Lunches. Uh, Tell us about who's that. Who's the dictator in your family? Well, the dictator, so I want to be completely transparent about motherhood. I feel like so many people online are curating it in a way that makes it look so easy, but I live in a dictatorship. Right. And so I needed to make sure that when I wrote this book, it was very obvious that I'm just trying to appease these two tyrants. That's your mistake, <laughs> right? they, That's your mistake. I know. You, got, you totally have to whipped. be the dictator. I, they, I try, but no, they've got me. Are they, they picky eaters, or are they tough? They're like two overly indulged sort of house pets that sort of sit on my lap. If I'm like, if I'm, you know, petting them, cutting things into bits, putting food in their mouths, they eat. But if I just present it on a plate, they're not really interested. Okay. Oh. So picky, no. They just need us, a lot of coddling. Do you want us to come over? and retrain them. Please. I'll be like, ready? I'll be like, hey, your parents are gone. Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> they need a little or bit of that. <laughs> or don't eat it. Or don't eat we'll be, it. We'll be back Star. in eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> they need some of that. Okay, That's so uh, take us through the, your school lunches okay. because they are so impressive. All right. I'm so grateful that I was not raising kids at the same time I would feel so bad about for my but kids. This is great. Oh, this is, these are great ideas. Well, this is just, yeah, I, I'm just always trying to in, sort of entertain them and sublimate my own guilt as a working <laughs> parent uh, and kind of get them sort of excited about different things. This okay. is tiger nut flour. Tiger and nut flour. It's sort of this, it's, it's low carb, it's low glycemic. Is that what this is? Yes, it's paleo, it's all the things. Grain free, nut mm. free, so easy to send to school. Mm. Okay. Um, so we're gonna make some alphabet cookies. What okay. we're going to do is we're gonna take half a cup of palm shortening, okay. half a cup of maple syrup, half a teaspoon of vanilla, throwing it all in. Half, uh, we're gonna do a full cup of tiger nut, Ooh. half a teaspoon of baking soda, and mm -hmm. a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Hey. So all the things here we can just throw in. I'm just tossing it all in. Yeah, blend usually it all would, together. Would you usually blend the soft and then add I, the dry? No, I just like, you I'm just a throw it. Yeah, I just throw it all in and, and hope for the best, to be honest. You know how Rachel Ray, she's always saying, I'm not a chef, I'm a cook? Yeah. Well, I'm also not a cook. Okay. I'm just trying to survive, guys. I'm just trying same. to survive. Same, same, same. Okay. So let's pretend and like we usual, blend it. And like usual, the blender's not working. Ready? I think. I think. Okay. It, there we go. Oh, there you go. There we go. Okay. Blending. Okay. Good. Good job, Mark. Okay. Cool. Well done. Well done. Okay. Now there it is. This is what we end up with. So we're gonna roll this guy out okay. a little bit. We're gonna roll him. I mean, again, guys. You want me to do it? This yeah. is very amateur hour, as okay. I as I always tell my husband. <laughs> it's like. He's lucky that it that I'm interested in this. It's more like crafting for me than it is actually. It is a little crafty. You know, it's I would crafty. Say. Can I just try this? Yeah, please. How is that? It's really good. It's nice. And it has a sweetness to it. It's actually mm -hmm. not a nut. It's a tuber. What's a tuber? What's a tuber? Well, you know, like like a uh, like a root vegetable. Okay. Mm. All right. Now we can use the cutters. All right. For... So you use the cutters. Let's make some. Whatever, you know, whatever shapes you feel like. I'm gonna make the number five. I'm gonna make the K. I'll do an L for the Laszlo bear. The Laszlo bear. The Laszlo okay. bear. He's my youngest dictator. <laughs> <laughs> the littlest dictator. I was like, do you guys wanna watch me on TV? And they're like, no. <laughs> no interest. Are they here? No, oh. are you kidding? They, they have like such a, a bigger bigger lives than I do. They're doing way cooler things. I, of course, did this wrong, so I now have it stuck in, in my number five. Um, <laughs> all right, so then we put it in and we bake. All right, bake. so we pop those guys in the oven. Yeah, okay. for how long? We're gonna do it for about 10 minutes at 350. I like it raw. Now we're gonna move down. It's good, right? Yeah, really Now we're good. gonna move on. Now we each have a little spot. We're going to make the sandwich. Cool. Okay. And this is gonna be sort of an autumnal, back to school themed box we're doing today. Okay. So take some bread, bread of your choice. Uh-huh. Actually, you don't have a choice. You have to take the bread in front of you. I like take it. Take the bread in Sorry, front of us. I lied. A nice wheat. Uh, now, I'm gonna do hummus. You guys can do hummus, you guys can do turkey, <clears throat> or you can do cucumber. I'll do hummus. <laughs> or I'm gonna do above. hummus and turkey. All right. 
Does that work? And <coughs> I slice these long ways so that when I put that, when I use the cookie cutter later, it's not, you know, falling to pieces on me. Okay. And throw that guy together. Take a cookie cutter of, of you know, whatever theme you're in. I'm going with a sort of a, is this a, what kind of leaf is this? A maple leaf? A maple leaf? Maple leaf. Yeah, we're gonna go maple leaf over here. Okay. I did an apple. And the metal cookie cutters, I have to tell you guys, work so much better than the plastic. Oh yeah. Plastic you get stuck Look in. Look at that. Look at that, honey. Cute, right? I'm really proud of you. Yeah. And the best part of this is that your kid's teacher is so impressed by you. How come I had, so when you're like I had a scissors off? and a hypodermic needle? Hey guys, <laughs> we're gonna take a break. When we come back, we're gonna finish making lunches with Jenny Mullen. We're back with the author of Dictator Lunches, Jenny Mullen, who's making a back to school lunch to die for. This die is for. enviable. So this is gonna be our little, you know, sort of no notes of Halloween is coming. Okay. This is a little goblin creature. We're gonna cut the pepper okay. in half. Okay. Cut the pepper in half. I love these because I used to do this with strawberries, but then I also needed a candy mouth. This way, I don't have to give them another piece of candy. Because ah. it, you always get a crazy mouth on these guys when you cut them. Yeah. You take a little bit of seed butter usually, because you know the schools aren't into the peanut. Yeah, it can't yeah. So yeah. take some seed butter mm -hmm. as your glue, and you just paste two eyes on the top. <laughs> Why is it that eyeballs make everything that? look adorable? Eyeballs make everything cute. But usually with like a fruit, I would need lips and a tongue or you know, whatever else. But look at that mouth. I mean, How cute is that? That's adorable. That's gonna grab your attention, right? Yeah. That's gonna get, elicit some sort of reaction out of my kid. What do the other moms think? Well, no, the other moms, they, they, I don't Do they think they ask even you know to, this is happening. They don't even know? No, I'm like, all about winning the teachers over. I want them to think that I'm like better yeah. than everybody Good. else. Good, that's very important. Should I, take our, should I take our cookies out of the oven? Um, let's, yeah. Or, or, what should we do you? first? Let's let them, let them cool? cool. Let's do one other thing. Let's okay. do our apples. Let's okay, see. apples. And this is, I like to call this apples two ways. Okay. So, cut some apple. Everybody always asks me, like, you send apples to school, but do they get brown? I, I really never have a problem with that. There are so many things I send to school that come back to me in one piece. The apples are never one of them. Okay. So I don't have any problem sending apples, and I don't think anyone out there watching should either. But we're also gonna mix this with dried. So you've got regular mm -hmm. and then dried. Ooh, and a skewer. And do a little skewer action. That's so cute. It's all Apple about taking things ways. you know they will eat and mixing them with things that maybe feel a little bit more dangerous. And dangerous. Hoping for the best, <laughs> and hoping for the best. So I do one of these guys. And you put, put a little cinnamon on them? And that? then I douse them in cinnamon. Yeah. Oh, okay. yum. All right. Doused. 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 Mark, all right. do you feel, Are you guys doused? Do you feel robbed of this experience? No. Okay. <laughs> But I'm enjoying it now. Yeah. And then okay. my last thing I do before we throw the cookies in is I take a cheese. Yeah. Okay. This is so fun because it always works. Yeah. I love when something, I know it's gonna work, it's like foolproof. I take either an X-Acto knife or a cookie cutter and you just jam it into the front of the yes. cheese in whatever shape you want. I have a J and an L. Oh, and okay. you can throw that in the middle. This is really sort of, you should feel like it's paint by numbers. You know, if you think of it as you have a main, a fruit, a veg, yep. a snack, and a bribe. I love yes. these boxes. You're good to go. I yeah, love these boxes, boxes are, are they great. bento boxes? It's, this is a bento box. You can use any, any kind of box you want, but I like this one just because I feel like I'm into the presentation. It yeah. keeps me yes. on task. Yep. Um, cookies are probably done. Okay, so now I can take them out? Yes. Careful. I'm gonna take them out of the oven using nothing but my bare, okay, or my. <laughs> <laughs> Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. <laughs> Can I try one since please. I've been eating all of the dough? Oh, please try one. Tell me what you think. They're so good. They're fun, mm -hmm. right? Guys, they taste like animal crackers. They do. Yes. They do. They're yeah. really good. Without all the sugar and like other things you can't mm. pronounce. They're really tasty. Right? Yeah. So, Jenny, take a couple of those, guys, and, and your lunch is done. You're ready.
Thank you so much Thank for you. being here. Thanks for having me. I love when you fill in for me. It's my favorite thing to do. I'm so... Yes. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It's like watching a time machine. For more information on these ideas, go to Thank our you. website. Thank you. And get Jenny's book, Dictator Lunches, everywhere books are sold. Next, we're going to open up that pesky inbox. Stick around. If you would like to know more about any of Jenny's back-to-school lunch ideas, log on to our website at livewithkellyandmark.com.